Okay, I've received some messages that some of you guys are having a hard time getting USB support enabled in VirtualBox. Okay, now one thing that I recommend is that you actually install VirtualBox from VirtualBox's website. Okay, it's, it doesn't matter which Ubuntu flavor that you're using or you can also install the PPA if you're using the YPPA manager to get the latest and greatest version. Now, depending on how your menus are set up, the distributions vary from one to the other. For instance, I'm using the Cardapio menu. I can search for users and groups just by typing in users. And then users and groups appears here. Also, if you're using a main menu such as this, it would be under administration, users and groups. But nonetheless, users and groups uh, is somewhere in your navigation menus. You will need to locate this. Once you have this open, you need to manage groups. I'm clicking that here. Scroll down to VBox users and double click that. Okay, and then under group members, make sure that your name is selected, like mine is already here. Select OK. Now, if you check this box because you weren't in that group, what you are going to need to do is, okay, let's get a password here. What you are going, once you have placed yourself in the VBox users group, you are going to have to log off and then log back in for the changes to take effect. And then your virtual box will be able to read your USB devices such as hard drives, flash drives, multimedia devices such as MP3 players and Zoom, that sort of thing. Uh, if you thought this was helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, I am now on Facebook and Twitter. So come on in and join me on Facebook and Twitter, and you'll be able to stay up to date on all the new developments happening here on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Thanks for watching.